Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carolina Winetta, if you cannot tell from my channel name. Today, I'm actually starting my second week of my body cleanse by only eating meat and vegetables. I uploaded the first week already, hopefully by now, so I'll leave that link below. Um, if you haven't watched my last video, I am taking supplements before and after each meal to help with like digestion and to help lose fat instead of muscle. So I first need to take my supplements and then wait 10 to 15 minutes to eat uh, breakfast, which are two hard-boiled eggs. So I fill this glass up with water. I'm going to be taking the Fitline Activize Oxy Plus. I'm really supposed to be drinking herbalism tea. That just helps you with losing weight. Stir, stir, stir. This actually tastes really good too. And then I have to take three capsules of the Fitline Pro Shape Amino. So these are just amino acids. And now we wait. Sorry if the lighting is <coughs> really bad, but I'm just cracking some eggs right now. And one of them is broken. Well, it broke while it was in the pot. They want you to eat eggs that are as fresh as possible with no contaminants, no chemicals. My mom, she gets these eggs from a coworker and that's why they're, like, they're all different colors too. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is gonna be edible. Ew. I also have the option of eating bee yogurt is set in the schedule. No, I don't think we have that, so I'll just eat my one egg and get back to you guys. I just took a shower just now. I think today's gonna be a no makeup day, so I just threw on moisturizer because I'm waiting right now for an order from Instacart, but while I do so, I'm going to marinate the chicken drumsticks that I want to eat today. So I'm going to set you guys up over here. Ingredients that I'm using are all natural chicken drumsticks, paprika, garlic powder, pepper, olive oil. So I'm going to take the chicken out of its packaging. And just put the chicken into the bowl. throw this out so it says to add some kosher salt but obviously I can't have salt so I'm just not gonna add that and I'm also getting the recipe from healthy habits with Lindsay.com if you're interested it's just like a blog post but anyways add some garlic powder okay I think that black pepper Smoked paprika, but I don't have that, so I'll just use regular paprika. And then it says to also add arrowroot powder, but I don't have that. We'll just make do with what we have. I'm just gonna let this sit in the fridge for a little bit so that all the flavor gets in it really good. Okay. Hey y'all, so believe it or not, I just got back from doing Instacart. I changed back into my pajamas because why not? It's hella hot outside. It was somewhere in the 90s and I turned the AC on in the house so it's nice and cool now. Freaking forgot to show you the chicken that I just put in the oven. But before, I lightly fried it in olive oil on a skillet for three minutes on each side. Put it in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see, let's see how it's doing right now. Looks so amazing, yum. Okay, we'll let that cook. I stopped at Chick-fil-A and I just ordered a chicken filet by itself. And there was a very cute boy at the window. Oh my gosh, his brown eyes. He was like laughing at the fact that I ordered a Chick-fil-A chicken filet because I was hungry. I didn't get to have fresh greens with that meal. So I'm really supposed to be having fresh uh, green vegetables for this uh, third meal. I'm just gonna do the salad because I think my mom left out the lettuce from the garden for me. You can actually also make 
uh, your own dressing of lime juice, avocado, dill, cilantro, jalapeno, and a one half cup of plain yogurt, but I don't have some of those ingredients. I just made my own dressing, Kirkland aged balsamic vinegar, two teaspoons of that, and then I used some Stu Leonard's olive oil. I threw in some minced garlic, so black pepper to taste, but no salt, of course. Now I'm just waiting for the chicken to be done. So after 20 minutes, I have to flip the side and then let it cook for another 20 minutes. So as of right now, there's five minutes left. Okay, y'all, so bon appetit. The chicken looks so good. Can't believe I made that, it looks delicious. And I actually had to use a thermometer to make sure it's at the right temperature, which it is, which is 180. And I poured the dressing over the salad. And now I'm gonna eat. Okay, guys, wait, let me turn off the fan. July. Okay, sorry if it cut me off. The yeah, SD card was full, so I had to delete some stuff. But overall, I just wanted to go back to last week and kind of fill you guys in and what happened Wednesday. Thursday, Friday. I was getting three meals in a day instead of four for like two or three days. And I think that had something to do with like me feeling dizzy and lightheaded. Those were the days that my body started detoxifying uh, because the first week I felt totally fine. I was full of energy. I was just like doing whatever like needed to get done. But then last week I started having some issues where I felt lethargic. I just didn't have energy to do much. I was kind of just having a rough time. The only thing is that I haven't been really exercising. Yeah, the least I could probably do is go for a walk, you know. Even today I haven't even even eaten breakfast so i gotta go do that here it looks really oily i literally washed it yesterday so i don't know why it's oily tomorrow will be exactly two weeks since i started the pm international diet or like lifestyle change i've noticed a tremendous difference in my abdomen area and my stomach and how it's just flatter and it's debloated a ton. My legs, I was sitting on my chair yesterday doing my skincare routine and I noticed that like the part where it would usually be filled up with fat, it was just a lot more loose even though it's kind of gross. It was and also, I was telling my mom yesterday how I'm surprised that yesterday was the 13th, that I've eaten hard-boiled eggs without mayonnaise, without salt, 13 times in a row. And I think also, if your body is just really hungry, it'll eat anything and everything. Two hard-boiled eggs now, to me, it kind of tastes salty. Yeah, I just like don't really need the mayonnaise. It's very strict and definitely for this diet, you have to be mentally prepared for it. You have to kind of see it as a challenge and just know that it's not gonna be easy. Like a lot of support from like other people um, helping you and not like tempting you every second with this piece of cake or with this brownie you know what i mean but that was my little update for you guys i have to still put up week one so let's go hey guys so i'm coming to you right now from my iphone but today is the today is wednesday the 16th today yeah i think so or it should be. Right now I'm eating my third meal. I just heated up three pieces of chicken with rosemary and just other seasonings. My sister made it the other day. And then I cut up three cucumbers. Instead of putting salt, the secret is to squeezing lemon onto it so that it just adds more flavor. It feels like every time I'm filming the the phone rings adding just lemon excuse you i feel good today i finished the mexico vlog i just finished uploading it not too long ago i was at the library uh doing that and yeah today's a great day oh a nice breeze coming in uh today is thursday the 18th i got the dates wrong yesterday was the 17th not the 16th but my camera battery is about to die so i just wanted to quickly update you guys so i'm just waiting like 10 15 minutes to eat my one boiled egg not too i don't know if you can tell 
but the second egg exploded while it oh while it was boiling i weighed myself today i am 178.2 i'm kind of questioning because i've been that weight for like the past two or three days so i don't know if it's because um i started my period today so i don't know if that has anything to do with my like just my weight stabilization i feel a little bit bloated from my period but it's not that bad remember to drink your water guys to hydrate um go outside get some fresh air and um vitamin d monday july 15th I just weighed myself, and you guys, I am officially 179.2 pounds. Oh my gosh, this is so exhilarating. I seriously, like, can't remember the last time I was this weight. And I know that numbers on the scale don't matter, but to me, um, they kind of do. <laughs> I've been waiting so long to lose weight and nothing was ever working for me and it sucked so bad because I would go spend countless hours at the gym during the week and I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. Food, it matters 80% and working out is like 20%. I just want to show you guys the actual proof that I'm 179 so no one doubts me. Obviously, I'm not 182.4 pounds. That's just, I guess, how much you guys weigh. I don't know. I just still can't believe that I lost 10 pounds in two weeks. Like, that's incredible. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me on this journey. We've got a little bit of a way to go. Today, I woke up at 8. I could barely open my eyes tired and lethargic so i just went back to sleep and i woke up at 11. i'm uh, about to eat drink my supplements and then have two hard boiled eggs okay y'all this is my body after doing the fit line pm international for two weeks are you ready are you ready okay So this is her. We love her. The difference I've noticed is that I lost a lot of bloating and belly fat, but the only thing is to lose some more of my love handles. Other than that, like, yes. This is when I try like to flex. <laughs> this is what happens. Side by side. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. All my social media is linked down below as well. If you want to go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Snapchat. I'm also selling stuff on Mercury and Depop. Those links will also be down below. And yeah, have a great day, you guys. Take care of your bodies. Be healthy. Drink a lot of water. Go outside. Socialize with people. I kind of should. Don't sleep till 11 a.m. And remember, start with what you have, not with what you want. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.